All right, now we're going to talk about molecules and a molecular mass rather than atomic mass. Exact same concept, except this time we're talking about a molecule. Remember the difference between an element and a molecule, first molecule. All right, remember an element is like one element, like gold or hydrogen or oxygen. A molecule, remember, is two or more elements combined to form a, a, a molecule. All right. So like, for example, hydrogen is the element. Oxygen is the element. H2O is a molecule. All right. I know it seems simple, but a lot of people sometimes get these two concepts confused. Um, they think an element and a molecule are the same thing. Technically, they're not. OK, so now we're looking at, a, at a, the mass of a molecule. So what's the mass of a molecule? Well, it's the sum of all the atomic masses, the sum of atomic masses in a formula unit. OK, so if you were to add up the mass of hydrogen, hydrogen, each hydrogen is 1.008, and add it to another hydrogen, because I have two of them per formula, plus 16.00, I will get the mass of water. All right, actually, it's all done for me right down here. All right, so one mole of water weighs 18.016 grams. One mole of water. We're talking about the whole entire thing, water. One mole of sodium chloride weighs 58.44. Don't worry about this AMU thing. It stands for atomic mass unit. It's basically grams. All right, it's a different aspect of looking at it. They don't actually really explain it that well in this book. So, uh, you know, so well, let's not worry about it. If you do take Chem 111, you will learn more about what this AMU implies. But it's basically the same thing as grams. Okay, so one mole of sodium chloride weighs 58.44 grams. Well, I have a question for you. How many sodium chloride atoms is, uh, molecules, not atoms, how many sodium chloride, that shouldn't be there. Let me just erase that. How many sodium chloride molecules are in a mole of sodium chloride? How many molecules? If I were to count out, if I were to weigh out 58.44 grams and count out each molecule, how many should there be? If you answered 6.022 times 10 to 23rd, or if you said Avogadro's number, you are correct. That's how many molecules. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what the difference between this slide and the other slide is. Determine the molar mass of the compound. This seriously looks like the identical slide. So I am going to just continue on. Um, same type of chart as we saw before. Moles to grams, grams to, mole, uh, to number of atoms. Nothing new. All right, mole to mole ratio. This is a new concept that I'm adding into here. A mole to mole ratio. What is a mole to mole ratio? Well, it tells me moles of one thing and compares it to moles of something else. So let me just show you an example. Let's say I have a water molecule, H2O. This is a water molecule, okay? All right, let's say I've got, I don't know, three of them. Let's say I have three water molecules. I want you to pay attention to the wording that I'm about to say. Okay, how many moles, how many, that's a question mark, how many moles of water are there? Okay, all right, how many moles? Let's assume that, you know, I have three moles, three moles of water. Not mole, moles and molecules are not the same thing. Okay, but let's just imagine I got three moles. So I have like, you know, 6.02 times 10 to 23rd of this, 6.02 times 10 to 23rd of this, 6.02 times 10 to 23rd of this. Okay, let's say I have three moles of water here. Okay, how many moles of hydrogen do I have? How many moles of just hydrogen do I have? Okay, well, for every mole, for every mole, I've got two hydrogens. I have twice the number of hydrogens. So if you answered six, you are correct. I have six times. I will always have twice the amount of hydrogen for every mole of water. So water is the whole thing. Hydrogen is part of it. All right. So one mole of water has two moles of hydrogen. This is a mole to mole ratio. It's an, e it's an equality. It's a, uh, uh, it's a conversion factor that converts moles of one thing 
into moles of something else, but it, it is related to the original thing. All right, how many moles of oxygen are in moles of water? One mole. Okay, so <clears throat> this is now going to be added to our calculations. Okay, so here's an example. They don't really give you a question, but let's say the question is, the question would be, so the problem down here, um, I'm going to erase this just so to kind of make it easier so I can have space up here. Okay, so it's a two to one ratio, all right, in water. So the question is, how many atoms are in 500, uh, I'm going to put 500.0 grams of water. The reason I put the point zero was because notice there are four sig figs here. Technically, this only has one sig fig. So I kind of wanted to be more appropriate on the sig figs. I, I just think that they made an error. I think the publisher just made an error. <clears throat> they meant to say uh, 500.0. Otherwise, the answer would just be three times 10 to the 25. And that's not what they were after. I'm currently just talking under my breath right now. OK, so let's go back to this thing to kind of show you now. We're now going to add to this number of atoms or molecules. We've now added molecules to the equation. This is grams. This is mole of A. Well, I'm going to add to this. Now we talked about a mole to mole ratio. Well, you can go from moles of A to moles of B, right? I just showed you using the mole to mole ratio. One mole of water equals two moles of hydrogen. Well, here's moles of A. Here's moles of B. Moles of A is moles of water. Moles of B is moles of hydrogen. Now, from moles of hydrogen, I can now go to number of atoms in B. And I can even go to the mass of B. This is A. This is A. So now we have kind of a new little uh, schematic that can help us get through all these types of problems. OK, so in this case, how many atoms are in? Oh, I'm sorry, how many? hydrogen atoms that's kind of important how many hydrogen atoms are in 500 grams of water so what's my starting point what where am i starting on this on this sheet here all right i'm starting with grams of my a i'm starting right here this is my 500.0 grams of a and i need to get to atoms of hydrogen well, this top row is all about water. This bottom row is about what I need to convert it into. In this case, it's hydrogen. So I need to go from grams of A to moles of A, and then from moles of A to moles of B, and then from moles of B to the number of atoms of B. This is where I'm trying to get to. You just follow the path way, all right? And remember what the conversion factors are for all these spots. This conversion factor is the atomic mass, all right, or a molecular mass, okay? This is my mole-to-mole -mole conversion, and this is Avogadro's number. So let's see how they did it. They took the 500 grams, and they needed to get moles of A, I'm sorry, grams of A into moles of A. So grams of water into moles of, of water. So they need to use the mass of water. Remember, water is 18.06. If you add up all the hydrogens and add up the oxygen, you get 18. All right? So you have one mole to 18. So 18 is on the bottom. They cancel out. This gets you to moles of water. That gets you to this point. Now I need to use the mole-to-mole -mole conversion. Now they do this out of order. I don't like how they do this. How I would do it is I would put this conversion next, all right? One mole of water, all right, is the two moles of hydrogen, all right? One mole of water is the two moles of hydrogen. That's your mole-to-mole -mole conversion, all right? One mole of water goes on the bottom. Um, hold on, guys. I'm going to put this on pause. I don't like how they did this. I am sorry about that. Um, all right, now it's correct. <laughs> okay, so uh, to you it was a split second, but to me it was about 10 minutes of my life that I had to take out. Okay, uh, so the question, let's go back to the question here. Um, uh, how many atoms are 
are in 500.0 grams, how many hydrogen atoms, I forgot it again, of water. Okay, so uh, remember we have moles of A to uh, number of atoms. And here we have grams of A. And then here, this is moles of B to number of atoms. Sorry if it's sloppy. I'm just trying to quickly do this. Hopefully you wrote it down already and you have in your notes. Okay. So we're starting here and we're getting to here. So first thing is use the atomic mass of water. So 18.012 grams. That gets it to moles of water. Then we use the mole to mole conversion right here. Mole to mole conversion. One mole of water is the two moles of hydrogen, right? And moles of water is on the bottom. You see, you want that to cancel out with moles of water. So two moles of hydrogen. We're now moles of B. Now we gotta get to the number of atoms. Well, for one mole of hydrogen, there's an Avogadro's amount of, of uh, hydrogens in that. And then you should get 3.343 times 10 to the 25 hydrogen atoms. I apologize, I didn't realize the publisher does things a little differently. I think this makes much more sense than what the publisher did. Um, like I said, the more practice problems you do, the more problems you do in class, it will make sense. Okay, but I think using this flow chart is, will be very, very helpful. It'll make your learning go a lot quicker if you don't know how to do these. Mark off where you're starting. You might be starting with number of atoms and you have to get to grams. So you just can follow along. If you're sitting here, I think the hardest part of this is knowing which conversion factor to use. Well, I think using this helps you at least 50% of the way. You then have to know the actual numbers. Those you have to make sure that you know, okay? So here's a bunch of practice problems. Um, let, let's actually go through one slowly so that you can kind of see my process. That last slide was a little bit of a train wreck. So I really want to make sure that you completely understand um, what I am doing here, okay? Um, these actually you can do on your own. I want to do ones where we have the, the particular atoms, okay? This is moles of CO2 starting with 10 grams of CO2. You don't have to use the mole-to-mole -mole conversion because you're trying to find moles of A and you're starting with grams of A. So that should not be a problem. So why don't you go on pause, do these, and when we get to those other problems, then we'll do them together. Okay, welcome back. Let me scroll through these. So th this is what you should have, basically your grams divided by the mass. Okay, um, here we go. This is kind of the, what I want to do. Determine the number of water molecules and the number of hydrogen and oxygen atoms in 3.26 grams of water. Okay, so um, let me put my little cheat sheet here. So moles of A to uh, number of uh, atoms. Okay, and this is going to be grams of A. And then down here, We'll have moles of B. I'm, I'm just going to do a ditto mark, so I have to keep writing it. I'm sorry, ditto of B. And then here is also is grams of B. So uh, this is A. Okay, so number of atoms, number of atoms, moles, moles, grams, grams. Okay, so what I want to do, I just want to do one of these problems. Okay, I'm going to do um, this one the number of hydrogen atoms in 3.26 grams of water. There are three different questions in here. Okay, I am just going to do the number of hydrogen atoms in 3.26 grams. You can do the rest of them on your own. So I'm starting here, and I'm getting to down here, number of hydrogen atoms. So 3.26 grams of water. Well, i got to get it to moles, and the way I do that is by taking the atomic mass of water. So 18.01 grams is to one mole. I believe I round it up. Just so if you're wondering why my, my numbers are a little different, I just rounded. Okay, now I got to go from moles of A to moles of B. That's the mole to mole ratio. One mole of water on the bottom so that it cancels out here is to two moles of hydrogen. And then one mole of anything is I'm going from here to here now. I got to use Avogadro's number. All right, so that would be how you set the problem up. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and do the rest of the problems, and then uh, you can put this back on if you'd like, and we can scroll through the answers, uh, but you have the answers, you have the slide, okay? So go ahead and do it now. Welcome back. Um, if we just scroll through it, 
Uh, the answer to that one that I just did with the hydrogen atom should be right, it looks like that one right there, 2.18 times 10 to the 23. That should be because you see it's a 2 to 1 ratio. Okay, so uh, hopefully this makes sense. Uh, you might, you know, it takes some practice in doing this. You got to practice it. Um, it doesn't help that the book does it a little bit differently than how I like to teach it and how I like to do it. I think how I like to do it, it makes a little bit more sense. Um, like I said, we will do it in class a lot more times over and over so that you get it. Okay. Um, here's another problem using approach number one. I don't know what number one is. Determine the number of magnesium cyanide ions present in 73.8 grams. Okay. Same type of thing. For every one mole of magnesium cyanide, all right, how many moles of magnesium ions are there? There's one mole of magnesium two plus ions. All right. For every mole of magnesium cyanide, how many ions? Whoop, how many ions of cyanide are there? How many moles of cyanide? There are two moles of cyanide ion. So those are your mole to mole ratios. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to take this formula and trying to break it down into ions. Okay. And notice here they are the one to one ratio versus the two to one ratio. Okay. So why don't you practice, do this problem, and we will come back after you're done. Welcome back. Uh, here are the answers. If those are the answers you got, good job. If not, see where your mistake was. All right. And uh, that's it for 5.2. And when you come back, we will start uh, 5.3.